Well, tonight, an update on the city's efforts to shut down a gas station after police say they were dispatched there almost 600 times in four years. Today, the city found a different party is now operating that gas station, one that's known to police. District 2 Chief, gunshot at 507 Azalea Road. 507 Azalea Road is the location of the discount zone gas station. We told you yesterday, police have been called there 588 times in the last four years for shootings, robberies, assaults, and drug crimes. Police secured a restraining order and boarded it up, calling it a drug-related nuisance. The police department has done everything they could do to utilize all of their intel, mm -hmm. all of their arrest powers, and yet the continuation of drug activity uh, is occurring. Today, the Mobile City Council was supposed to consider revoking Hussein Abdullah's business license. Wanda Rahman, attorney for the Mobile Police Department, had to explain that wasn't necessary because, for one, the license had lapsed, and secondly, due to bankruptcy, Abdullah was no longer the owner. Rahman explained one of Abdullah's business partners in a lease deal with the bank has been operating it. This particular location is problematic because they play the um, shell game of transferring the ownership, uh, having different corporations own it. Police also say that business partner was there during the 2017 drug raid that put the gas station on their radar. Not just this store, but there were numerous stores in the area that were selling glass pipes with Brillo pad together, and there's only one use for that, and that's to ingest crack cocaine. Police urge the council if current management catches up on back taxes owed and tries to obtain a business license, they block it. I want to remind everybody that this location is across the street from two schools, from Denton Middle School and Davidson High School. We have a lot of kids that are at risk from this location. The gas station is in Councilman Joel Dave's district. He says he fully backs law enforcement's efforts. I'm in favor of us using every legal means to shut this place down as quickly as we can do it. Well, police are still in court over the restraining order and seeing if they can go after current management.